Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, this is Entertainment News on Channels Television. Where else would you rather be? On our spotlight segment today is Nigerian actor Toby Mackinde. He's famous for his role in the sitcom Jennifer's Diary, a spin-off from Funke Ankidele's box office film Jennifer and the return of Jennifer, and most recently the record-breaking blockbuster A Tribe Called Judah, where he played one of the ensemble lead character called Shina. He lets us in on how he prepared for the role and the story behind his relationship with renowned filmmaker Funke Ankidele. Take a look. I would, I would um, describe myself. I would say that Toby Mackinde is, is a mess of art. Um, that's somewhere in between an introvert and an extrovert. So I can decide to be an introvert if I want to, and then I can also de decide to be, you know, an extrovert. Um, I'm chilled. Um, I'm a Christian. I'm the firstborn of a family of two. Um, what else? Um, I'm from Oshun State, Elisha to be precise. Um, yeah, I, I think that's, that's about it. I'm a graduate of Theatre Arts, University of Lagos. Um, first degree and second degree, master's degree in the same discipline. Motundi has told me a lot about you. Thank you very much. <laughs> a lot of good things. <laughs> I mean, we try, we try, we try. Mm, she, she mentioned that you have, you know, lots of businesses that you run that's across right. different industries. That's right. That's, that's really impressive. Thank yeah. you so much, uh, Josh. My like, dad is very hard work. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. <laughs> Stop it, Josh. Don't make me blush. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I mean, um, seeing that uh, you have, you know, so many businesses, yes. um, <clears throat> I think it would be a very good thing, you okay. know, if you open a bank account with us yeah. and you know, just try out <laughs> the loans that we offer. Yeah, this is mm. me. Mm. A business a part to the call. <laughs> yes, sir. Eh, relax. Eh? I have a lot of banks that I'm already with. Mm. Eh, okay. But I mean, I, I could still give Apex Bank a try out sometime in the future. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to consider opening a bank account with us in the future, I mean, why not just do it now? Why postpone, you know, what you can do now? Excuse me, Josh, <laughs> Josh. You never see anything. Are, are we here to talk about you marry my daughter or me opening a bank account? I mean, we, we, we can talk about both, you know, just use one stone to kill two beds. Some people still remembered me, but so many people don't even remember me. As a matter of fact, some people just realized years after I'd been teaming on, on Jennifer's Diary that, oh, this guy was the one who played um, the, the young character Nathaniel in Camps and our Neighbors, you know? So yeah, it, it's been an amazing journey. And, and it's, so, it's so funny how I started working with that because it was very, very, very random, you know? Um, I... So I always correct people. Um, Jennifer's Diary was not the first project I did with Ms. Funke Akindeli. It was actually In the Streets. In the Streets, um, I played the character of Fiva. He was a music producer. That was actually the first project I did with her. And I remember going for that audition and I remember her spotting me and saying, you did well, write your name in this book, this book. You know, she knows what she wants. Whenever, you know, she's doing an audition, once she sees the people that she likes, she, she already knows. <laughs> a tribe called Judah is, uh, I would say, it's a, it's a huge blessing to me. Um, I, so I was part of the scripting process. And I also um, did a bit of producing on, on the job. So while um, we were scripting, I remember, I mean, from, you know a good project from the script. That's like the first step, then execution, of course. And of course, I mean, over time, Antifunke has proven, you know, to, to be a master at what she does in terms of ex execution. So I knew that she was going to execute the movie properly. So, and um, one thing that we do while we're writing is while we're writing, we're, we're, we're casting, 
So I remember, I mean, for the first and the last bond, she already knew who she wanted, and she kept on hammering that it has to be Jide Kene that will play the first bond. It has to be Olumide that will play the last bond. Like, she, she already knew, you know. So we were just talking about the other characters and who will play what, and I remember it got to, you know, the Shino part, and she was like, who will play this role? And she, she then looked at Toby. <laughs> It's you, you are the one that will play this role. I know you will nail it. First of all, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed, you know, because it's a major character. I mean, it's, I, so I'm not overwhelmed because I cannot do it, but I, I've, I'm just overwhelmed because it's a big shoe to step in, you know. But then I was glad to step in it. So immediately she mentioned, I'm like, okay, yes, ma'am, let's, let's do this. <laughs> This kind of operation will be operation way they see the go with ordinary eye. Akko, better weapon. She no, no gun. <laughs> 